Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for attending my presentation. My name is Hua Yu. Today, my talk topic is the point of interest recommendations, learning potential trackings from friends. This is the outline of my presentation. First, let me give you some introductions. Nowadays, with the development of mobile devices, a variety of location-based social network services have been developed, such as Foursquare, Facebook, and uh, Yelp, and so on. People can access these services with Wi-Fi. Within these location-based social network services, people can interact with each other, such as building social connections and sharing information. Also, people can interact with many locations, such as choosing some locations to visit. Here, a location is a geographical point with some specific function that users might find interesting or useful. For instance, a location can be a bar, a restaurant, a hotel, and a store, and so on. We also call location as a point of interest. And the checking is a process whereby people can announce their arrival at a particular location on social service. Although location-based social network is very popular, it is still very challenging for users to choose some location to visit. First, it is mainly because of information overload. For instance, like Foursquare, it has over 65 million values. Moreover, when a new user when a user visits a new region or a new area, it is very like me. I'm living in Charlotte. Now I'm coming to San Francisco. It is very hard for me to choose a right location to visit. To cope with these issues, when it is very needed to build a location recommender system. That is to recommend the right location to the right user at the right time. A successful location recommender system can benefit many parties. For instance, it can help users to explore interesting locations in an efficient way. And also, it can help location vendors to advertise their services to customers. Formally, we can formulate the location recommender system like this. For the target user, she has visited those locations. The task is to recommend her some location that she might be interested in. However, there are a lot of challenges to build a location recommender system. I will introduce some important challenges. First, a user checking decision-making process is very complex and can be affected by multiple reasons. For instance, social network may influence a user's checking decision-making process. A user's checking behavior can be seen by a friend. When a user's many friends have checking one location, he might also check in this location later. However, it is very hard to measure how much one user influence a friend, uh, when, how much it is very difficult to measure how much one friend affects this user. Moreover, social geographical, geographical position also affects a user's choices to location. For instance, a user always prefer a nearby location rather than a far away one. All these factors may significantly affect a user's choices. Second, data sparsity is another issue in location recommender system. For instance, in a real recommender system, there are a lot of locations. However, each user only visits a limited number of locations. Even when a new user or a new location enters the system, we do not have any checking information about them. It is very difficult to make recommendation. Last, Implicit feedback is another challenge in location recommendation. Different from traditional recommendation, the checking data does not have a placid rating. Like in Netflix, users will provide the specific ratings for movies to express their opinion. However, in location-based social network, we only have a set of checking records. So we need to adjust this kind of implicit feedback in 
location recommendation. Recently, a lot of efforts have been made to explore the influence of social network and geographical position. For instance, for modeling the social network, some methods propose to place social regularization turn on learning users' preference. And for modeling geographical inference, some methods propose to study one single geographical factor such as distance. However, few of these methods cannot incorporate the influence of the geographically close users on each other's checking activities into metric factorization. Moreover, few of these models can adjust user CoStar program. Motivated by this, we propose a two-step framework. In the first step, we want to learn a set of potential locations from friends. And then, in the second step, we want to learn users' accurate preference for locations based on the learned potential locations. Let me see the details of the first step. In the first step, we will study three types of friends for each user. Suppose this is a target user, and these users who socially connect with her, we call them social friends. And these two users who have visited visited the same location as this user does, we call them location friends. And these two users who live very close to the target user, we call them neighboring friends. And we use the friends to denote these three types of friends. From the real world data, we find users would like to share similar interests with these three types of friends. Then, it motivates us to learn a, a set of potential checkings from the friends. Formally, problem definition in the first step can be formulated like this. Suppose this is the target user. She has these friends. And these friends have checking these locations. The task is to find the top, a set of top locations that she might be interested in from these locations. In other words, we want to estimate the probability that the target user prefers each location candidate. <coughs> to this end, we have proposed two methods, including linear aggregation and the random walk method. Let's look at the linear aggregation method. As this location candidate can be checked by the target user's many friends, then we choose the maximum similarities between the target user and these friends on this location. Specifically, the similarity between two users on one location may incorporate two parts. One is the similarity of the user's interest based on their checking activities. And the second one is the geographical similarity between this user and the target location. After we obtain the estimated probabilities, we can learn, we can get the set of potential locations for this user by ranking all location candidates. Also, we propose another random walk method. We treat the interactions between users and the locations as a graph like this picture. So we have two types of nodes, including user and location. So we can get three types of links. The, link e the first link is user and the user. Second one link is from user to location. The last one is the link between location and the location. Different link may have a different weight. The similarity between two users can be measured based on their historical trackings. And the direct link from user to location is a binary value. And the similarity between each pair of locations can be measured as how geographic, geographically close these two locations are. Then, for each user, we can adapt random walk with restart to learn the probability that the target user prefers each location candidate. So far, we have obtained three types of checkings, including observed checkings, potential checkings, and other unobserved checkings. In the second step, we will learn users' preference for locations based on these three types of checkings. 
We propose to model users' interest based on metric factorization model because metric factorization has been widely adopted in recommendation field. We assume there are a lot of hidden dimensions that can be used to characterize users' interest. These hidden dimensions are what we do not know and we want to learn in our algorithm. We can represent the interest of all users in this matrix. You similarly each location will have a latent vector to indicate its properties. Then a user's typical preference for a location can be estimated by the inner product of the corresponding user and the location latent vectors. In location-based social networks, category information of a location may significantly affect a user's movement. For instance, the users who like eating will have a larger probability to, to check in those locations relevant to food, while he will have a very low probability to choose some locations about sites. Hence, we introduce a category feature matrix to indicate users' category preference. The optional here is a Turing parameter to indicate this user might have a small chance to try something new. Then a user's preference for a location can be formulated like this formula. Therefore, we can formulate the general loss function for the estimated preference. Different from traditional recommendation algorithms, we model three types of checkings including observed checkings, potential checkings, and other unobserved checkings. For each user, this part is modeling these three types of checkings. And this term is the regularization term, which can be implied to avoid overfitting. For modeling users' three types of checkings, we propose two methods, including square error-based model and ranking error-based model. Let's look at the square error based model. Due to the similar interest between friends, users will have opportunity to visit those locations that his friends have visited before. So we treat each user's checking as an indication of parity, potential, and the negative preference with different confidence. Specifically, one user's preference for a location is regarded as a Parity feedback. This is measured as one, and his preference for a potential location is regarded as potential feedback. It is a small value between zero and one, and his preference for the other unobserved location is regarded as negative feedback. It is zero. Through this way, we can distinguish these three types of checkings. Then we can get the loss function by minimizing the sum of the square errors. As the checking data is a kind of implicit feedback data, it means we lack substantial evidence to show which location one user dislikes. To address this issue, we introduce a weight matrix to address this kind of problem. We assume one user will have a large confidence to prefer those visited locations, while he will have a small confidence for the preference for those unobserved locations. Also, we propose and we can generate the loss function by over all users like this, and then we can imply alternating least square method to optimize parameters. Then. We also propose a ranking-based model to model these three types of checkings. There is a hidden ranking here. We assume one user prefers a visited location over any potential locations, and at the same time, he prefers a potential location over any other unobserved locations. And we can present the relationship like this one. And then we can obtain the loss function by penalizing those violated constraints. And this is the objective function all over all users with the regularization term. And, and as we want to model all unobserved checkings, 
directed modeling that will have a high complexity. To this end, we propose the stochastic gradient descent with sampling method to sample a tuple in each loop, including one user, one visiting location, one potential location, and one other observed, unobserved location. And then we will update the variable in each loop to update the parameters. As we talked about before, geographical inference will significantly affect a user's choices. From the real world data, we find the checking prob probability and the physical distance follow a power law distribution. Then we incorporate the power law property to refine the recommendation result. For the practice, we can take the three different recommendation strategies for different according to different scenarios. For standard recommendation and new user recommendation, we can do rec recommendation with the trained model. However, for new location recommendation, as we do not have a latent vector for new location, then we can imply the similarity of neighboring locations to help to do recommendation. Suppose this is target user, this is the new location. We can take the weighted average of her preference of its surrounding locations. Finally, I will show you some experimental results to demonstrate the effectiveness of our model. We use the Govlog dataset. This table is a data statistic. For testing, we select each user's earlier 80% as training and use the rest as testing. And we evaluate the model's performance from top K recommendation accuracy, including precision and recall. First, let me show you some experimental results in standard recommendation space. This is the result for the basic model in standard recommendation space from precision and recall. These two methods model both observed and unobserved data, and other baseline methods are only model observed data. From the results, we can find modeling both observed and unobserved data can improve recommendation accuracy. These are the results of the proposed method. From the results, we can find the proposed methods are much better than others, but they will have very similar performance. The similar performance is due to the importance of geographical inference. And this is the result for new user recommendation. Here, all the baseline methods cannot work for this scenario. We extend all the baselines based on our proposed framework. And from the results, we can get to conclusion. First, our mo model, our framework can be implied to adjust use new user cost star problem. And second, the better performance of the proposed four methods can illustrate the if importance of the geographical inference and category information. And this is the result for new location recommendation. From the, this table, we can find our model can be used to adjust the new use, new location recommendation problem. And also, we find the ranking-based model is slightly better than others in this data. And this is the conclusion. Basically, we study three types of friends. And then, we propose a two-step framework. In the first step, we learn a set of potential locations from friends. And then we propose two loss functions to model these three types of checkings. Finally, we propose three different recommendation strategies. Thank you. We have time for a couple questions. Uh, go to either of the microphones. Uh, so while people go to the microphones, uh, I have a a okay. quick question. Uh, so you do an impressive work on the paper on comparing to a lot of different algorithms and extending some of them. Um, I was a little bit surprised that you didn't uh, try to use factorization machines. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with factorization machines and how you can use them to also add side information. Uh, do you think that could have been um, a likely approach? Uh, that is a, a good question. So for the side information, I think uh, our model can can be extended to incorporate some other side information to improve the recommendation accuracy. So that is possible for 
improve on my model. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Any other question? Okay, so let's thank our speaker okay. again. Thank you. Thank you.